please go ahead and then talk to them. See if you are eligible and then do the donation drive. And uh, here, I'm, I'm, uh, this, my name is actually Chinni Venkateshwara. I'm the Vice President for Telugu Enterprise Association. Uh, without any delay, I would like to actually um, uh, call uh, the President for uh, uh, Telugu Enterprise Association uh, uh, come up and do, do the open, open meetings for this uh, event. Mr. Uh, Sinu Pohar. Good morning, everybody. Can anyone, everyone hear me? Oh, yes. yes. All right, welcome. want to update you on uh, basically what our organization is all about. And uh, I see a lot of familiar faces, so it's good to see people coming in. Uh, as an organization, we are an all-volunteer organization. We're here to uh, foster entrepreneurship among Belgians across the country and uh, around the world. Can you hear me? Sorry about that. <laughs> TEA was conceptualized and founded by a visionary leader, Gurum Srinivas Reddy, who everybody knows, I'm sure. <laughs> and he basically envisioned the, to create a global organization that fosters entrepreneurship. TEA is a nonprofit, volunteer run organization, singularly focused in fostering entrepreneurship among the Telugu community. TA's organizational goals and aims and object objectives are geared towards wealth creation through entrepreneurship. Founded in 2010 in Dallas, Texas by successful entrepreneurs, corporate executives, and senior pro professionals with roots in the Andhra Pradesh region. Uh, objectives of TA dedicate to the uh, virtuous cycle of wealth creation and giving back to the community, focus on generating and nurturing our next generation of entrepreneurs, support TEA Youth Entrepreneurs Program to foster entrepreneurship in our youth, and TEA Women's Forum for Empowering Women Entrepreneurs. The mission, the vision, and the operating principles, uh, as you see up there, uh, TEA's vision is to become the largest pool of intellectual capital driven by entrepreneurship anywhere in the world. A brand that can globally uh, synonymous with entrepreneurship, a driver to boost the economies many fold in the communities where it operates. The core operating principles create an open, inclusive, and transparent organization, emphasize value creation through informed entrepreneurship, strive to remain an idea and value-driven organization, maintain high ethical standards. The past events and plans for the future. TA's plan for future would build on its demonstrable strength of conducting insightful events to entrepreneurs. Our past events include uh, Ms. Marie Johns for SBA Deputy Administrator, and uh, Ms. Yolanda Alvarez, SBA Regional Administrator, Mr. Yudani Menazali, uh, VP of Wingate uh, by Wyndham Hotels, uh, Mr. Sanjeev Khanna, successful local business uh, man with ownership in 135 different tra franchises. Uh, Mr. Krishna Gurupati, uh, IT entrepreneur who sold his business to Cisco. Mr. Rufander Reddy, uh, attorney for business litigation. Mr. Herbert Austin, he's the regional director for SBA. Mr. Herbert Gears, our previous Irving mayor. Mr. Abid Adibi, former CEO of uh, Adia Solutions on an IT consulting company, and Mr. Sashi Kerjriwal, Kher successful entrepreneur and a private investor. Mr. Praveen Saturi, Telugu film master from Dallas, filmmaker. Mr. Ken Suri, uh, chairman of One World Bank, and Mr. Roger Kerba, uh, one of the local C CPAs. TA's plan for the future. TA's is to, uh, goal is to, or plan to amplify the value derived by the members in the following way. Build a network of industry experts that are accessible to TA members. Create channels for members to connect to angel investors and venture capital community. Promote one-on-one -on -one mentorship pr programs. Drive programs, events to create economic and social impact to the community. There's four segments uh, that we're focusing on, and that is monthly educational seminars, as it is uh, what you're attending today. Uh, youth Entrepreneurs Program, CEO Roundtable, and Women's Entrepreneur Programs. Basically, this is a forum to give you guys an insight 
in, in hopes that you are looking to expand your business or get involved in entrepreneurship of any kind. We're here to help, help you guys foster the idea, inspire you guys to get into whatever you want to do and follow your dreams. Okay? Oh, <laughs> uh, obvious uh, opportunity would be to network among our groups here. And I'm sure we have a lot of uh, uh, guests here who have a lot of experiences in different fields. And we, we, we are openly offering to provide ideas and insights for whatever you need to accomplish. Okay? Any questions out there? Okay. <laughs> All right, let me hand the uh, mic over to uh, Jimmy, and uh, welcome again. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, now I would like to actually invite or call upon Raja, Mr. Raja Papa to actually introduce our chief guest for this evening, or this morning. We'd like to go from morning to this evening. That's how, many, how many people are going to be hanging in there? And also, as usual, I mean, yeah, the blood donation is actually still there waiting for us. If anybody would like to donate the blood today, please do so. Mr. Raja. Thank you, Shady. Thank you so much. Thank you for the warm introduction here. Uh, once again, can everybody hear my voice up there in the back? Yes. Perfect. Fantastic. You know what? It's a great honor for me to introduce one of our esteemed guests, Dr. Manimani Srinivas, already here. And I've done some research about him. And you know what? I found three pages of accomplishments from him. And I was struggling for the past two days. How do I condense the, the master of accomplishment that he has? You know, why not are we going to listen to him? And what I'm going to do, I'll try to mix it up with a little bit more humor. And I'll try to experiment that way so it's a more entertaining for all of us. Uh, you know, there is a myth in the general community that a great scientist cannot be a great businessman. How many of you agree with that? <laughs> right? The corollary to that is a great businessman cannot be a great scientist. How many would agree with that? You know what? I can tell you that our honorable guest, Dr. M. S. Reddy, has broken both of those myths. He's not only a great scientist, he's also a great businessman. And the other thing is that how many of you have eaten a pizza at Pizza Hut or a Domino's or ate a Dunkin' Donuts that's got milk products? How many of you have done in the last one year? Or in your lifetime? Is that a question? No, it's, no, it's a general question, right? And the reason is that we have to be proud because every milk product that is served in those restaurants is actually an invention is a result of direct and indirect invention of Dr. M. S. Reddy. <laughs> and the pride factor is that he's from Nelur Andhra, that's another thing why you know the Telugu entrepreneurship resonates with, with him and the other people in the market. Uh, now with this kind of accomplishments, we would think that wow, you know what, are there enough are there other things that I have done? Now how many of you know that Dr. M. S. Reddy He's also been given the award of Vedanta Brahma. How many of you know what that is? Okay. Vedanta Brahma is the highest award given to someone in the field of Ayurveda. And that's another thing. So it's a great thing to have for you. Now, speaking about that, that's not enough. For Let's talk about something else. He has been a renowned speaker. He has been asked to speak in University of Oxford in London. He also has been asked to speak in various political associations as well as in community associations and entrepreneurship associations like our team. So that's another kudos to Dr. M. S. Reddy for his prolific speech skills. Now, the last thing is that he's also a prolific author. He has written probably more than 150 technical papers. That's a different skill. Now, maybe that's not enough for him. What he has also done is that he has also written a book called A to Z of Success to Help Entrepreneurs like us in the Zoom. That's another accolade to Dr. M. S. Reddy. Now, I could go on and on and talk about our honorable guest in here. I'm not going to stand in the way. What I'm going to do is uh, hand over the mic to our honorable guest, Dr. Mayan Yashino Asmari, to come over here and share his wealth of experience. <laughs> With an introduction like that, 
little nervous right now. You know why? Normally I don't get nervous. My wife is sitting here. <laughs> so that's my wife, Mrs. Samarini. I, I just want to introduce, introduce myself. I know you did an excellent job. I came to the United States in 1968 as a student. When I came in, I was uh, just finished 19, I was 20 years old, just 19. And I studied in America, and I spent more time in college here than in India. More? Less. More, more, more. 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 Yeah, yeah. Thank you. If you, don't, if you don't hear from me, or if you're not understanding, please shout. Okay? That's why I'm here. Okay? So, 19, I was a veterinarian back in India. I just finished my Bachelor of Veterinary Science. Actually, I want to be an MD, and I missed my seat in half a point. You know? Then I continued, Dad said, go to the US or England or anywhere you want. You know? So I came out to America. When I was in the veterinary college, I was fascinated. I had one class on cheese. In India, we never heard of cheese, yeah? Those days. And I, uh, all the time, as a veterinarian, I'm a doctor. A bacteria means what? It's a bad bug, isn't it? It's a bad thing. It's a bad disease producer. When I had a class on these uh, fermented foods in America and in the Western world, I was fascinated. I was, I was good in microbiology. Then I thought, I wanted to study that. I told my father, hey, that is what I'm interested in. He said, go for it. Yeah. So I came out to the United States. And everybody asked me, what are you doing being a veterinarian? Why are you trying to understand microbiology? So I was in food microbiology. Luckily, as uh, our friend was introducing, beautiful job he did. Outstanding, I learned something. <laughs> so what has happened back in 1968, I invented a system which this country has been suffering for 100 years. And I hit it just in six months. Okay? And I didn't know what I was doing, but I did it. Out of passion, I was doing it. That brought me awareness that I have something in me I didn't know, like entrepreneurs or anything. 